boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, we are going to review some of the trades that uh, we did today. So if you can see here, it traded AMC, uh, BCTX, and TCAT. That was a dumb trade. Um, but I just want to put it on here so just we can review it and you guys can learn a thing or two from that mistake. So Toter looking a little bit over um, $900 in profit, which is um, a good day for us. Um, there is a lot of opportunities in the market, but um, again, you have to stay disciplined. And I'm going to talk about some of the crazy stuff that happened. Um, before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Again, a uh, good day for us. We're, we're not greedy savages. It was an opportunity to make a lot, but we take what the market gives us and we're happy with it and we move on. So let's jump right in and take a look at uh, some of the trades. So we can start with the uh, AMC trade. Um, so um, we're not, as I'm recording this video, AMC just went crazy. We can see this right here. Um, it went from $40, somewhere around here, um, and squeezed all the way to a high of 61 almost $62. That is what we call parabolic move. But uh, you'll be shocked that I didn't, I didn't even trade this particular area right here because I was actually um with a client and i couldn't coaching a client i, I didn't trade this uh so the beauty is i made my trade pre-market so let's just let's go right here and i'm gonna show you guys um pre-market so you can see this is pre-market and uh for those of you that don't know you can actually set or uh, ignore your chart so that it displays pre-market uh in weibo so if you go to settings here and select this we say shows extended hours and then you will see the pre-market uh, grayed out like it I have here. So this one, I got up early in the morning. Um, so the market opened somewhere here. Um, and then um, I got in about $38, somewhere around here. And I wrote this one all the way to 44 and some change. And so this was a sweet trade. Um, as you can see, I got up here at 41. Got me nervous, started pulling back a little bit, but I, I stuck. I stayed in the trade because I was, I think at that point was up like $3 uh, a share. And I was like, okay, I, I'm willing to risk a little bit to continue to make more. So I stayed in the trade. Um, but again, sometimes you just take your profit there and, and, and get away. But I stayed in, and which is a good idea because it squeezed all the way to 44. And that's where I got out at 44, around 44.40 or 44.30, somewhere there. Um, and then before it flushes back. And then um, they never returned back to that particular level. Market opens and it started to see some light again. Um, so as I'm recording this video, AMC is still going crazy. So look at that, up to a high of 61. So if I had held my position um, through the market until now, I would have made a killing. But their caveat there is, is if um it could have gone the other way too so you have to know our uh, you know your risk tolerance and secure your profit when you have to so again if you if you were just trading regular hours this would have been a good place for you to trade too because look at right here stochastic crosses right here to the upside and you, you, your entry price it would have been like 44 and some change to ride this all the way to that 60. Um, here would have been a little bit choppy, so you're getting at 44. Uh, it pulls down back to 47 somewhere here. But again, you are uh, at 44, 47, you're $3 in the money, so you can take a little bit of risk there to watch this thing squeeze all the way to almost $62. That would have been perfect. And then um, it actually got halted, out of the halt, flushes down, and then uh, look at that, bounce back over at 49 and squeeze back all the way to uh 58 almost 59 dollars so this stock has been crazy and it looks like it's not even uh over yet but at this point this is probably uh looking as if it's gonna not really give you a great opportunity look at stochastic here uh k is to the downside so i'm anticipating it's probably gonna get a little bit flush here so um but that's something that you have to look at so 
um yeah amc is actually going parabolic again trade this one with caution if you are for those of you that are in a trade um if you're holding long term congratulations uh again my take with this uh meme stock is secure profit because um they can go either way so always make sure that you secure profit along the way now the next one that i traded was uh bctx and we had this one on our watch list this morning for those of you that are uh, part of our discord server you get access to this for free um so bte bctx well it's hard to say came out of the gate uh, a little bit choppy so i waited pulled back it gave a little bit of opportunity right here so i took a small trade here um right across this vwap here made a little bit of profit and then pulled back um here's where it really uh, kind of went crazy um after this crosses v where i confirmed i took a trade here uh got halted somewhere around 770 and then out of the halt squeeze all the way to um eight dollars and some change so um right here i got out at about eight dollars and uh 70 i think eight dollars and 70 cents or so i got out, out right there before it got to nine uh because if you see stochastic crosses back here and that's why I said, look, it's like, okay, this is going to pull back a little bit. So I got out, secure that profit. Um, I could have advised trading just a little bit. I might could have gotten up to nine. But again, this is something that you don't know. It could have just like flushed all the way down. So good thing is I had a bracket order here. So I had a stop loss that was really tight. And then so I secured as much profit as I could and then um, got out of that trade. So that's the one that we made some good money ever since then. It just flushes down and never recover. So we'll see uh, for people that trade below VWAP, it might have given them a little bit of opportunities, but I don't trade below VWAP. So don't, in, don't expect that from me. And then the other trade that I did that I said was stupid on my part is this T card right here. So um, I think I, I dropped 35 bucks here. So right out of the gate, I flushes, crosses VWAP. And I'm looking it's like, okay, give me another opportunity. So it crosses again. So right here, confirmation. I got in the trade um, and then I, I was looking at something else. I, I I think I was looking at another stock. And then before I could go in and put in my stop loss, so I stake profit, this thing had moved and started coming back down. So I just had to like quick use my um, hot keys to get me out because I didn't want to stay in there. So I got out for a $35 loss. So again, um, AMC is still flying here, guys. Let me bring that up so you can see. So look at that setting a new high 62 uh my goodness 63 amc is on fire so um definitely if you haven't go check them out i'm gonna uh, finish this one here real quick um and go see what amc is doing if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also if you're looking to get started with investing guys Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.